Hi everyone, this is Jonathan So again, talking about the wonderful things I've learned about in Google Maps. Uh, this is a really cool app that I haven't really been utilizing very much in the classroom, but uh, would like to for mathematics purposes and even so our social studies curriculums. And there's just a, a wide range of tools that can be used with our maps. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up your, your Google Map app which is found in your array, and you can see it here on the map section of it. When you open it up, you're going to want to click on the taskbar. You can't actually do anything in this map. You actually have to open up the original maps or create or create a brand new one uh, to be happening. You can do that in my map section of it. When that happens, you can open up the map that you've actually opened up. Uh, what I like to do is I like to keep that I like to keep this open up and I like to add layers to uh, the various things we've had. So uh, I have our first layer, which was the Google form that we started out with in Global Connections, learning about right to play. So these are all the people that we've talked to. And if you scroll out even more, um, you can see that we've reached all the way into Kenya. I've added the fact that we, a lot of my students came from Pakistan right on that one. But I actually just realized that you can add a whole new layer to the application. So to do that, you hit add layer. It then opens up a brand new section. You can name it whatever you want to. People that we talk to in Google Hangouts, uh, people that we email with, uh, whatever you need to. If you don't like to have that as a map, you can actually delete it. I'm going to keep this one here that says people we have connected with. Now make sure that whatever you're going to add to, like using the, the tools we're about to see, you actually click on the um, the proper layer. So the first one obviously is you can actually type in right away uh, into our taskbar and you can actually click on uh, and it should be able to find your school or whatever you want to that you've clicked into it. So I clicked on Ray Lawson which is the school that I am working at and it will find exactly where it is and plop a pin right where it needs to be. Which is about there. So you put the pin in, you can actually label it Ray Lawson. You can take pictures with it if you really wanted to. Now, I don't really like that color because that's the same color that we have for all the other ones. So I'm actually going to change the color to blue. So that way I know and can pinpoint. The other cool part is it has this lovely little ruler which can measure distances or areas that you've created. What a great math application for any student in the sense that you can measure objects, you can measure distances, you can ask the question, how far am I from this place? Who's the farthest away from us? Who's the closest? You can see this is 6.3 kilometers. You can actually click and be fine. You can actually keep going and see that from that from the first point to this point to that point, and you can create distances with that. The other cool one is the, um, the drawing the line. You can actually draw lines around things. You can add driving distances um, and go from, from there. So here's a, here's a step-by-step direction, which is another layer that you can add. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial about using Google Maps uh, and the tools that it has and the possibilities for our math and social studies curriculums.